And welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Let's Play Star Trek Online. We're continuing the main storyline missions with the Romulan mystery right now. In the last episode, we just finished um, Trapped, the Rogan, and now we are going to do uh, Sharian Swords, which um, is right before we start the FE series. It starts with a vault. So the next video after this one will be a lot of fun because it's that whole Riemann FE series they introduced last year. Um, but until then, we'll do Sherry and Swords, which is uh, a mission that was in the game since since the game launched, just like all the others above it. So um, let's do it. Stop the Romulan research into Borg technology before it's too late. Starfleet Command has finished its analysis of the information that you found in the Hadrian system. Remember, we. Uh, found some information that the uh, Romulans were researching with Borg technology to integrate it into their ships and stuff. And of course the Remans obviously did do that, but uh, the Romulans here were working with that. We want you to enter Romulan space and proceed to the Demora system. Once there, find the ships that the Romulans are building and destroy them. We also want you to stop them from continuing the project. So you'll need to take out their infrastructure and any Borg material that they have at the location. So basically we're destroying all their Borg research and ships and everything. Destroy the Romulan prototypes of Borg weapons and ships. So we got to go to the Demora system in the Terod sector of Iota Pavonis. So let's accept that. And oops, let's warp out. First, we'll head to Alpha Centauri up here. And then straight on to um, Iota Pavonis. Now, I, uh, you know, I guess it's kind of a political debate, but why not let the Romulans have this Borg technology? The Romulan homeworld's already been destroyed. Their main homeworld is gone. All that's left of the Romulan are colonies, and I, I'm guessing they do have a government of sorts, but they're spread out all over the galaxy. Why not let the Romulans use Borg technology to rebuild their civilization? Now, if they use that technology to attack other, you know, other species and, and whatnot, and steal their technology and colonize their planets, then obviously that's bad, but if they use the technology to rebuild their civilization, then that's good. And they're so spread out and mixed up, why not let them have some more technology? It's not like we're not benefiting from some of that stuff too, you know. Federations, I'm sure, have been looking and researching all the Borg technology to, to combat it, so why not let others? Why do we have to, why are we the only ones that are allowed to do it and not everybody else? It seems kinda, kinda strange to me. Um, obviously the Remans use it um, bad, badly. I mean, they use it to attack us and, you know, Nero used it on his ship and Shinzon used it on his ship and, you know, the Remans are pretty bad with it, but I don't know if the Romulans would be so much. I don't know. What do you think? I guess it's a debate, you know, should you let them have it or not? What do y'all think? Leave a comment in the, uh, in the comments there about that because I'm not sure you know this mission's kind of like you know we're the Federation we're gonna go in and destroy all their research and work in the, into uh, Borg research and Borg um, ships and stuff they're making I don't know if we have that right but apparently Starfleet or the Federation it does uh, thinks they do so we're going in to destroy all that and um, I think it would be better if maybe the Federation would collaborate with the Romulans on their research so that we could see their research and get copies of their research because that will in turn help us combat against the Borg. And the Borg are a huge threat in this game and we need all the research and, and, and stuff on the Borg we can get. So why not collaborate with the Romulans on Borg technology? I don't know. There you go. Let's 
so this mission is going to be pretty much the end of what um, the game had originally to do to do with the Romulans before you started the Cardassian stuff. But uh, of course, last year they added five new episodes um, with the uh, Riemann FE series dealing with a bunch of Riemann type stuff, which also deals with the Romulans also. And um, so that, of course, expanded upon the storyline even more and gave us more Romulan missions to uh, deal with. So that'll be right up after we finish this episode. And so the next five episodes will be really, really fun and interesting. The Re I'd say the Riemann series is probably the best FE series they've done in this game so far. All right, enter the Demoris system. All right, we need to disable the communication satellites and take out the base defenses, and then we can beam down onto the base. So we have to disable communication satellites and destroy uh, the base defenses. So first take out the satellites, which are, oh, and there's cloak ships, of course. transmitter. That's one. And um, how I knew where to go was I was following on the mini-map here. These two uh, nav beacons tell you where to go. And also you can see the satellite. And I'm betting there will be another ship cloaked. Yep. satellite okay that's done now that part is easy the part that's a little bit harder here is when we get to the station we have to take out the defenses within a time limit before the ships activate and there are tractor beams that hold you in place which is not good so we're going to use polarized hull to get around the tractor beams holding us but these ships you see they will uh, you have to take them out before they um, are able to go into action. So you will notice there's a pr progress timer on them. So we gotta quickly take them out. I take out the ships, and then I take out all the turrets and stuff.
out the ships. Now we gotta take out all the turrets and stuff. This is where beam weapons really come in handy. It's able to lock on at extreme uh, angles and take everything out. There we go, defense is down. Now we can beam on board the station. Alright, beam down. Now, as you can imagine, we're going to have to fight our way through Romulans. Oh my bridge officers keep up with me this time. They've been acting really strange lately. my way through everything. Okay, this should enable the turbo lifts. Now we gotta use the turbo lifts. There are more Romulans right around the corner here. They're hiding behind here. Sneaky. But I win. And a turbo lift is right here. So make sure my bridge crew is with me before I. My Anar, why is she running? Although, look at that, look how far she's going. Look at this 40, 50, 60. It's like she's running all the way back to the beginning of the map. And now she turns around, and now she's coming back slowly. Now she's running back. There she goes, see? There she is, way over there. And now she's gonna stop. How stupid can the AI be? Forget her, I'm moving on. <laughs> Maybe she'll be with me here. Yeah, she popped down anyway. Ah, the behavior is totally crazy sometimes. <laughs> They really, really, really need to work on the AI in this game. <laughs> the pathing and whatnot. They need to uh, make sure your bridge officers stay with you. Stay close to you. Consoles down here. Captain, I found a portion of a report on the Romulan version of Borg technology 
it says that ships equipped with this technology have shields that adapt to the weapon used against them. Use phasers too often, and the shields learn how to resist them. The adaptations aren't perfect, however. I would speculate that shields that have adapted to resist phasers would be weak against torpedoes. That's a pretty cool technology. We should use it. I'm sure the Federation wants it. Even though I don't use these lockboxes, um, I'll just take them and sell them or delete them. storm in. How predictable. Our new ship needs an adequate test. Farewell, Captain. And Priscilla sends her regards. So she's going to get away and escape very slowly. Now we have to return to our ship. And now their new Borg ship they've been working on, we have to fight. You cannot win. We are the vanguard of a new Romulan force that will sweep across the stars. All will tremble before Romulan might surrender now. He might grant you a quick death. So it does sound like the Romulans are using the Borg technology to take over everyone. So I guess in that regard it is bad that they have the technology. They should not be allowed to um, kill everyone around them, <laughs> I guess. IRW SMR Romulan and Borg technology. Holy crap. Okay, that hurt. Holy crap. Yeah. We'll have to take this from a different approach. <laughs> that ship is pretty powerful, indeed. <laughs> Their weapons are pretty powerful. Okay, so that didn't work. <laughs>
Okay, now we can report to Starfleet. And we'll turn... Uh, not, uh, actually, it auto-popped up anyway, so... The uh, rewards here are pretty cool. Um, there are some unique rewards for a um, captain. You've got a, this thing called a Numiri Regenerative Shield Array, which um, basically has not a very good cap on it, as you can see. It's, the shield capacity is really low, but it has a tremendous shield regeneration. So, I mean, if uh, maybe if you're on an escort, that would be good. Um, Combat Hyper Impulse Engines are good, but the uh, this is even better. Prototype Gravatic Modulation Impulse Engine. Um, if you weren't using like a set uh, impulse engine, like the like Jim Hadar set that I'm using right now, um, this would be the engine I would go with. It's a very good uh, impulse engine. Um, that's the one I would choose probably for this mission if I needed it. And I don't think the Romulans had a base known as the Vault that they used for I research into board technology. Didn't even this facility you. was abandoned in the chaos Why after the destruction of the Romulan me? homeworld. But Stop intelligence. Stop talking to me. I didn't even select you. Okay. What I was saying was this engine is not bound, it is bind on equipped, so that means you can sell it on the exchange and uh, hopefully get some uh, energy credits, which is exactly what I will do. But, and there's my UI screwing up again. Hope they fix that soon. Alright, so, that was uh, Sherry and Swords. Basically ends the, ends the original Romulan stuff they had. And um, now, our next episode will start what came out last year with the uh, Rima and FE series. And it starts with the Vault, then Mind Enemy, and then Frozen, and then Coliseum, which is a real treat. Then Cutting the Cord. And then this is just a little thing to summarize it all up. But that, um, we'll start that in the next episode. And, um, so each episode will be, you know, just one of those. And, um, it's a fun series. And that will bring us to the end of the Romulan mystery once we get to the end of it. So that's a really fun series. So stay tuned for those, uh, next five episodes there. Those are, those are going to be really, really cool. So I will see you guys then.